What is going on guys? It's your boy LC Josh back at it again with some more videos and today Well, I didn't ever take on the time break of Bardock event on on camera So that's what we're gonna be doing today with the super tech team now I gotta say right now that um, Whenever I first got the super Saiyan 3 tech angel Goku um, I was I was hyped, you know, it was off single I was hyped, but I never really thought I was actually gonna like this team as much as I do now so yeah if you have super saiyan 3 tech angel goku and you and and you love that team you love running this team let me know in the comment section below if you guys are new to the channel smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you enjoy but we're definitely going to go ahead and take on this team uh and this event just for a simple fact that uh bardock is I, I feel like bardock's event is definitely harder than goku's event like i was literally just breezing through goku's event and the fact that everyone literally has a free crit so it's just like it was working wonders for you boy like it literally was like it's, it's not even it wasn't even close like it, it was honestly not even fair and i think that the new boss rush is really the only thing that's probably going to be able to test this one just for some effect that i know kid boo's event it's definitely going to be hard with the type disadvantage unless i can get a bunch of crits um this is the team that i'm probably gonna be running for that and i'll probably be doing it live so yeah uh, first of all, let me go ahead and actually, yeah, I'm going to seal you up first. I'm going to seal you up. And then, Goku can do all this. Damn it. I really wanted to just get, I really wanted to just get that. That's not going to work. Whatever. But he should, he should be gone at, on this one should be by the way Bardock is I think the only person on this team that is not SA10 I think he's only SA3 uh, maybe oh he got a crit too but I think he's only SA3 if I'm not mistaken just SA3 so everyone else um, SA20 for LR Goku and then everyone else is literally SA10 damn he got a crit too oh my god yo if everybody could just crit uh, that would be great if, okay, you you have the room to go tanks, but if everyone could literally just go through this and crit, uh, that that would that would literally be a first, especially if they crit actual time break bar. Like that that would be amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna float his, even though even though I should be able to actually really float mine instead and kind of get mine with the rotation of of. My Gojira, Super Saiyan 4 Gojira, I probably should be doing that, but I'm not. So, yeah. Uh, let me let me do this. Let me do this, because I want to see if I can get both of those. That's what I wanted. I wanted, I wanted those. I wanted those rainbow key orbs. Let's go. If you can crit him, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing, Goku. Just crit him. Damn it, Goku. I was counting on you. I was literally counting on Goku for that one. By the way, um, if you guys are looking forward... Wait, I didn't really get him a super? Wow, I thought I gave him a super. But by the way, if you guys are uh, looking forward to the Gojira uh, and Janemba event, well, the Duel Fest, if you guys are looking for this guy to be on this one, I, I personally don't think he's going... Wow, he literally survived? What the F is going on? Like, how did you survive? That's This is what I would like to know. I mean, you're stunned. How, how did you survive that? Like, GG. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. I'm going to do this. I am going to... This. And honestly... That, that should be good for her. And then we'll just... Since we're not going to get like an actual super off, we'll, we'll just do this. Because that, that should be enough for him. Even though I did float, I know I did float him, and I kind of want to get that rotation with him and one of my Super Saiyan 3 uh, Gokus. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm really looking for on this one. But anyway, back to that. I don't think they're going to be on, I don't think Super Saiyan 3 Goku is going to be on that banner, just for the simple fact that we literally just got him, and they should be next crit. Um, to me, I would personally like to see either Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta come back and take his place, or better yet, um, them literally just give us the hashtag to be hashtag to be releases and put both the Gojira and Omega on each banner. 
I think that would be a whole lot better. But I don't necessarily think they will do it. But it would literally be a whole lot better if they actually did do it. Just for the simple fact that a lot of people didn't get those cards. And Goku, like, I'm not going to lie. Gojira, Gojira is is amazing on this team. I don't, he's just he's just freaking amazing on this literal team. Like, this, that's probably what, the one reason why I like it so much is that I'm actually able to really use him right now. Especially with, you know, both of them being 126, so it's basically 240% lead. But... I would honestly, I would honestly wouldn't mind if they really did put the 2B releases on there to make the banner a lot better. So Bandai, if you're watching this, uh, at any moment from Bandai, if you're watching this, do that. Put them on the team. Like seriously. Oh, you're um. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I really don't want to get rid of. I don't. I don't. I really don't want to do this. But I'm gonna have to. Like I, I don't want to mess that rotation up. But oh, the next rotation should literally destroy this man's. What am I? What am I talking about? He should be done. Uh, yeah, Goku. Yeah, he he should definitely not be not be done. Why did I do that? I should have just gave him a regular super. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Are you super in first? Yeah, okay. That's about 130. I think I think it's 130 yeah 133 literally he hits stupid like it's just like he consistently through this event hits hard like consistently like Goku is Super Saiyan 3 Goku literally doesn't hit hard at all he's just like okay yeah it, it's, it's like you can go through it and just be like yeah this ain't nothing but not through this one. You literally have to look at, like, seriously, one whole turn. Like, 33k. He's literally hitting 33k. Like, F out of here, man. Like, this is why his event is a lot harder. Just for the fact that he consistently hits harder. Like, there's like there's no downtime for to him not hitting hard. Unless you got a really, really, really good tank. He's consistently going to hit hard. And I don't have any rainbow orbs on that one, so that sucks. But, okay, so... Uh, Gotenks is going to get that volleyball. Okay, that's that's you know what? That's like maybe the third time I think I've got that one off. So I'm not mad at that. I want to see how much he's going to hit if, if he does crit too. Okay, or he may not even get the chance to now. Yeah, see, like he's not hitting hard against the Gojira, but like for real, anyone else? That's like a thirty-three thousand, maybe maybe a little bit more. Oh, you know, he is going to. Okay. Ooh. Oh, and he stunned him, too. See, that's why That's why this team's so good, because Goku can seriously stun, too. And, okay, that's not that bad. I was hoping he'd crit, too, but that's not that bad. Literally. This team is like... The fact that Goku stuns, too, like, has that chance to stun in clutch situations is just... GG. Like it, it really is. Like this team is this team is seriously amazing. I love it. And the only and the thing is, this team's not even done. Like I need to get TN, or I need to wait for the adult adult uh, Go Tanks to come out and uh, switch him. Like I'll probably take out the um, Vegito, the base form Vegito. I'll probably take him out and put either one of them in uh, in that slot to make the team better. Uh, especially TN because you know he I think he's a forty percent plus three key and all that stuff. So that's way better on top of that. So this team literally can get even better, and I'm just like, I can't wait. I can't wait. Super Tech is freaking amazing. If I do get Time Breaker Bardock, I'll probably, I should get Time Breaker Bardock at some point in time, because, I mean, he's not a featured unit anymore. He's literally in every SSR pool, so I should get him at some point in time, and if I do, um, I will go for Super, well, Extreme uh, Tech and that Super Saiyan 3 Broly just because I literally have like every good um well besides the LR uh Rose and Zamasu I have like every good uh, extreme tech unit for that team so yeah I'll probably go for that probably show that off I don't think it's going to be as good just for the simple fact of you know Broly's restriction and all that with the with the defense whenever he nukes so yeah whatever 
But if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Let me know in the comment section below what you feel about this Super Tech team. If you're hype about it. And what you what you would like to see on the uh, Gogeta and Janimba banner. What would you like to see? Would you like to see the two hashtag 2 releases take this place? Or would you like to rather just see maybe a um, maybe a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta take Super Saiyan 3 Goku's place? Or um, I'm trying to think of nothing that's on the... I, don't, I think Baby's on... I think no, I think um I wanna say the kid boo's on that banner. On the Janima banner. If I think Super 17 is the one that's not on that banner, I think. So yeah, if you want to see one of them come back, I'm pretty sure not never mind. No one's no one probably really gonna want Super 17. Except for me, because I really want all of the leads. I don't have all the leads. I want them all. But if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. I'm out. Peace on no, the no, left no, no. base form. <laughs> nope. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head.